334. One must learn to love. This is our experience in music. We must first learn in general to hear, to hear fully and to distinguish a theme or a melody. We have to isolate and limit it as a life by itself. Then we need to exercise effort and good will in order to endure it in spite of its strangeness. We need patience towards its aspect and expression and indulgence towards what is odd in it. In the end, there comes a moment when we are accustomed to it, when we expect it, when it dawns upon us that we should miss it if it were lacking, and then it goes on to exercise its spell and charm more and more, and does not cease until we have become its humble and enraptured lovers, who want it and want it again, and ask for nothing better from the world. It is thus with us, However, not only in music, it is precisely thus that we have learned to love all things that we now love. We are always finally recompensed for our goodwill, our patience, reasonableness and gentleness towards what is unfamiliar, by the unfamiliar slowly throwing off its veil and presenting itself to us as a new, ineffable beauty. That is its thanks for our hospitality. He also, who loves himself, must have learned it in this way. There is no other way. Love also has to be learned.